How would you solve this limit problem? Well, you might recognize that this is very close to the limit definition of E, which looks like this. And therefore, just by this, you will notice that this limit is then E cubed. And that is the correct answer. But what if you didn't know what that limit was? What if you didn't know the limit definition of E? Well, the way that you would go about this is by actually doing some logarithmic uh, transformations here. So we're going to let y equal to the limit problem above. We're going to take the natural log of both sides. Now this natural log is going to go inside of the limit. And because of this, you will notice that we can now use those properties of logarithms to bring that exponent 3x down. And from here, what we can do is force this limit problem to be a L'Hopital problem by changing this x just a little bit. So this is equal to this limit problem right, right over here. Remember, this is the same thing. We just made this x in the denominator, but we flipped it. Now we can see that both of the numerator and the denominator will go to zero, meaning that this is an indeterminate form that we have forced. And now we can use L'Hopital's rule. So if we use L'Hopital's rule, the derivatives respectively of the numerator will become three times three over one plus one over x, but we need a chain rule here. So the derivative of one plus one over x is negative one over x squared. You can do that by yourself if you would like to try and see how I got there so fast. And of course the denominator is also negative one over x squared. Now notice we can cancel these two terms out. And so this limit problem just becomes the limit as x goes to infinity of 3 over 1 plus 1 over x, which is just equal to 3. But remember that we set this equal to ln of y, so we know ln of y is 3, and y is equal to e cubed, and that's how we get our answer.